This mild side camera is a server. Yes, it manages itself without needing an external NVR or an on-premise server. Mildsight has integrated an NX Witness server not just on this model, but across multiple cameras redefining the meaning of plug and play. When you connect this camera, you immediately get access to Network Optics VMS. Again, no NVR, no external server, nothing. And the best part? With the built-in NX Witness server, you can record and access your video anytime, anywhere to NX Cloud. No need for port forwarding or complex configuration. You just connect, log in, and you're good to go. Plus, with video stored and managed directly on this camera, there's no constant streaming between the camera and a separate server, making your data more secure. Malsite also leverages NX Witness merge feature a tool designed to integrate multiple independent surveillance systems into a single unified interface. With this feature, cameras from different systems can be displayed together in a single layout, ensuring seamless monitoring across all sites without requiring users to switch between multiple dashboards. The merge feature also allows for advanced automation, enabling users to apply analytical rules and even triggers across cameras that were previously isolated in separate networks. This means that a motion event detected in one location can trigger an action in another, streamlining security responses and enhancing operational efficiency. Additionally, all event notifications from different locations appear within the same interface, providing a consolidated view that improves situational awareness and response time. For businesses with multiple sites or organization with distributed security infrastructure, this feature enhances scalability, operational simplicity, and overall system reliability, making large-scale surveillance management more efficient and user-friendly. Beyond the software, this camera also brings serious hardware upgrades. With up to 2.7 tops of computing power, it delivers real-time AI analytics for smarter and faster detection. And for information, TOPS refers to tera operations per second. It's like the horsepower of an AI processor. The higher the TOPS, the faster the camera can analyze video, recognize objects, and make intelligent decisions on its own. All right, let's take a closer look at this big boy. Now, the reason it doesn't rely on a server is because it has a one terabyte of built-in edge storage. And if we look at the camera build, it is equipped with a Starvis Starlight Pro CMOS sensor, so the camera excels in ultra low light conditions, capturing colors even in near darkness. And when light levels drops further, well, its IR illumination ensures sharp, detailed footage without overexposure, making it ideal for parking lots, warehouses, and dimly lit environments. But a great image is only useful if the camera can enter the elements. Now, this one boasts an IP67 weatherproof rating and an IK tank vandal resistance, making it resilient against arch weather, dust, impact, and tempering. As you can see, a solid build. And in our case, it injured the freezing cold weather of the north successfully, so I have to say, good job, Mildsight. Now, we're gonna jump into the NX Witness interface and see how it works. So now, into the interface of NX Witness. Now we're gonna go into the camera settings. So on the top left, when you go inside your camera, you can access plugins, and this is where you have access to the VCA events, so any AI events. Now we're looking at advanced motion detection. What we're doing here is actually drawing a box on your screen to have the advanced motion detection. So anyone that enters this, you would receive an alert. In our case, we're talking about humans and vehicles. So now I'm choosing the color which I wanted to show. And here I toggle either human or vehicle to understand which alert I want to receive. It is exactly the same thing when we're talking about intrusion detection and line crossing. So line crossing, I draw my line right here and then I choose which side I want them to go from. So I receive an alert if you go from one side, both sides, or only one side. I can save that here and again, as the advanced motion detection, I can choose multiple rules. So in this one, I chose for only vehicles. Now, 
if I go inside the object left remove is the same thing and I can access the web page directly from the interface to actually do the same thing again. So if I go inside the web page, I go here, I click on settings on the left side, I go inside my um, events. But first off, I want to show you something here. I, since we're already on this side of things, and I think it's pretty important to mention. One of the challenges of edge recording is storage management. With limited onboard storage, you need a system that doesn't just record at a fixed bitrate, but adapts to real world conditions. This is exactly what Milesight Adaptive Bitrate Technology does. The camera manages its bitrate to optimize both storage and video quality. During periods of low activity, it can reduce the bitrate ensuring that storage isn't wasted on unnecessary data. However, the moment an event is detected, the camera instantly increases the bitrate, capturing crucial moments in the highest possible detail. This adaptive approach ensures efficient bandwidth usage, whether monitoring a quiet hallway or a busy entrance, and it delivers smooth recordings without compromising clarity. This means you don't need to compromise between storage efficiency and your image quality, the camera optimizes both. For you, the installer, this feature means more reliable performance for your clients. You don't have to worry about fine-tuning bitrate settings. For any kind of environment, Mildsight will do it for you. Now, I'm gonna keep on looking at the different settings that we have on the interface, but again, I think this unique feature needed to be mentioned. And as you can see here, it's pretty easy to set up as well. All right, so setup is done. As you can see, it is saving my settings. And now I, I wanted to show you as well. So we did it, yes, on the interface, but you can also do it on the web page where you draw your different region of detection. So if I'm looking at intrusion detection right now, I can also go in the advanced motion detection that we've seen before. We kind of see my square and the line crossing exactly the same thing. So both reflect to each other. The interface from the VMS reflects with the web page from the camera. So everything you do here will go there, which makes it again really easy to manage all around. Let's look at the AI functions. So as you can see up top, we have different things. So op spot, PTZ control, we can take a screenshot, motion search, object search as well. When you click on it, you will have thumbnail that appears on the side. Now I want to have our focus on object search. So object search can also be toggled on the top right of your screen. So it's the same icon that you see uh, on the camera. So if I click on it, I have my thumbnails and all the detection that appear. I can also look on the timeline itself. So on the timeline, you have yellow parts and green parts. Yellow parts is when an event was detected. So when you press play, it will jump from every other event. So now it's jumping to an object detected. So I left the box and let me zoom in so you can see actually the nice quality. And then the box disappeared. So we draw a little zone here. So when an object was left more than 20 seconds, well, it created an event. And same thing when it was removed well, it created another event on the timeline. So we're able to see it directly here. Another type of change, uh, another type of search you can do when you click on advanced is person search. So you go inside person and then you open this window and it will give you some previews of detection. So if I click, let's say, um, on the cycling person, okay. so. Here you can see a little preview of the person itself rolling on his bicycle during winter, a brave, brave man. And here is another one of just someone walking uh, down the back alley. And when you click on show on layout, well, it will appear directly on your screen and you will also have it on your thumbnails on the right side. Here, I press play and I'm able to actually isolate the target on my screen and it remove all the environment on the side so I'm able to really review the action happening here. I can do the same thing with vehicles. So I click vehicles on my object search and here a vehicle appears. I press play. I have the box around the vehicle. I can isolate it from any kind of action and I understand better what's going on. 
And like I said before, exactly the same thing. I can go on advanced to review multiple details. Here I see a red car arriving. Okay, I want it on a bigger view maybe. So show on layout and there you have it. So the car appears on my screen right away and I'm able to isolate it from the rest of the environment. As you've seen in the demo, the navigation is really easy to do. Finding events or creating new rules is intuitive and this setup didn't take long at all to do. So if you're doing an install, you won't waste any time. And with NX Witness built in, this definitely helps the end user as well. Think about it. No additional hardware required, lower setup and maintenance cost, reduced bandwidth usage, a more reliable system with fewer points of failure. So for small to medium installation or remote location where deploying a full surveillance infrastructure isn't practical, this camera is a great solution. Milesight has taken a bold step forward by merging cutting edge surveillance hardware with a powerful VMS, all in a single camera. And at People System, we're all about nice technology and this camera definitely get our stamp of approval. Go check them out. We'll leave their website on the description below. Guys, it was People Systems. See you in the next one.